So we're going to go through the muscles on the upper arm. The first muscle, which most people already know, is this triangular muscle on the upper arm. It's called the deltoid. Now the easiest way to remember uh, the muscles from, is from the top down and we'll start with the rotator cuff muscles which uh, wrap around and create stability around the shoulder. We're taking this uh, structure through here as the reference point and that's called the scapular spine. So if we, if we look at the muscle above the spine, it's called the supraspinatus and it comes from the word supra meaning above. So supraspinatus is above or superior, supraspinatus. And below is a muscle called the infraspinatus. So it's below the spine, it comes from the word inferior, so the infraspinatus. So above the spine is supraspinatus, below the spine is the infraspinatus. Underneath the scapula, we've got a muscle called the subscapularis. So un sub, like think of submarine goes under, subscapularis is underneath the scapula. Now the fourth rotator cuff muscle is the teres minor. So it's actually the next one in line. So this muscle here is the teres minor. So we've got the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, the subscapularis, and then the teres minor. And once you've got that far, it's pretty easy to remember that the teres major is next to the teres minor. Now we move into the, uh, the next section of the arm and it's referred to as the brachial region. So that means this area here has got the word uh, brachial somewhere in the context of the name. So the first muscle we pull off here is called the bicep brachii. Bi come meaning two origins. So you notice there, it divides into two at the top. So bicep brachii. We've got a muscle here that comes from the front uh, sort of structure of the scapula there, or the coracoid process, into the brachial region, and it's called the coracobrachialis muscle. In the middle of the brachial region, we have a muscle called the brachialis, and then from the brachial region down the radial side, we've got a muscle called the brachioradialis. So I've gone coracobrachialis, brachialis, brachioradialis. On the back of the arm, I've got a muscle called the tricep brachii. Tricep meaning it's got two or, uh, three origins, the so tricep brachii. And then right on the elbow, I've got a muscle that also helps elbow extension, it's called the anconius. And the way people often remember that is because if the arm were to look like Italy, anconia occur, is on the elbow of Italy. So the anconius is a muscle right on the elbow. Actually that one in there.